Hey guys, I'm going to show you my modern trade binder. I'm mainly looking for foil Avacyn, foil Cameo, any foil Planeswalker for my planes, uh, for my Princess Cube, or any foil Angel, which probably um, I'll trade for. I'm looking to trade of equal value, or to trade multiple cards into one card, not the opposite way around. So this is my trade binder. I'm also, I can also do cash as well as, you know, PayPal and even altars, right? Altars are always good. I enjoy looking at them. The altars I am I want are anime related or just very beautiful altars like the Filiers in the beginning or the Tempora Masters in the beginning, Masteries in the beginning of the binder. It's not like you drew a sand dune on a... Badlands. I'm not going to pay any money for that and I'm not going to even want that card and a lot of the altars I've been offered recently just feels Lackluster would probably be the way I would put it. It doesn't look good. They just don't look good Well, I guess maybe they look good for other people, but they're not my personal style of altar Ancestral visions is a very good call card right now uh, this is not for trade, this is actually going to one of my EDH decks. Going right back to my EDH deck. I didn't feel like I needed him, but I really didn't need him. This is a pricier card. I like it because it, it has lines on them. I typically don't do trades under $50, only because shipping costs so much money. So hopefully we can do a $50 or more trade or buy. Or even if you are an artist and you want magic cards, um, most times I just pay commissions via PayPal because it feels, it's just a lot better. So this is one, my modern trade binder. And now I'll go to standard. Standard I care less about, uh, mainly because, oh, this is also, this is kind of a different video. Uh, I'm playing Weiss right now. I don't actually know how to play a game, but I am collecting cards, so it is a fun game for me. And so these are Weiss cards. I will trade for Sign Weiss as well. Card 5 Vanguard, I don't play very much anymore. But pretty much any lands I have, I have sets of every single land currently in standard right now. So if you need those, uh, part of Water Veil is always very good. I believe that is a foil lily still, uh, Languish promo. These are very good. It's one foil, two foil. I probably want to put one in the princess cube if I can't trade into her. Dragon Master Outcast is foil. These dragons are just beautiful. I love these dragons very much. Chandra, I'm trying to get a foil of her. Uh, these are foil. And de decoration in stone. So all four Gideons for trade. This is the other four Gideons I have in, in my deck. Narsets, Neheris for trade. That's an extra. And then these are for trade too as part of my speculation. I love them a ton. But yeah, actually, and then some Pokemon cards which are for trade. Four Charizards, a Blastoise which is a low damage, a Venusaur. A nice piece of childhood right here, right? And some EXs. Uh, Pokemon is a lot cheaper than Magic the Gathering, so that's why I'm playing the game right now. And the online version is like free. It's pretty much because you get these uh, codes and one of my local game store, they crack a lot of packs just to use Saudi cards. So then the online free booster pack they don't actually use, so they just give it to me. Anyway, that is my trade binder. Let me know in a comment below if there's something that you want to trade for or um, hopefully, you know, talk to me on Twitter, I guess, or Instagram. Instagram probably is the best way. Uh, DM, because I'm most active on Instagram. And we hopefully can work out a trade or something. But anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, again, I'm looking for cast, altars, or foil princess cards for my princess cube. So definitely looking for all of those stuff. Anyway, hopefully that was it's a lot of fun. Um, the trade binders have changed quite a bit. I do have a collection binder, which I may show you a little later, but not right now. Anyway, bye guys.